Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the automation obstacle. Four times six, seven, empty. It's a medium size problem. Okay. So let's take a look at the obstacle first. So it says navigate the maze. Uh, though it has not given uh, all the other details regarding that, but you have to click on this generate maze, and basically a maze is going to get created. And then what I have to do is I have to click on these options. Okay, I have to click on this uh, these certain options, and I have to navigate from start to the end. If you are able to do that, then your automation problem is going to get solved. Now, whenever we click on generate maze, this is going to get changed. Okay. Now, pause this video for a moment. Think about the approach how you are going to solve this, and then take a look at the remaining problem. Okay. Uh, we'll go to modules and we'll kick off our scan, and we'll see what is going on with this uh, obstacle. So, once my scan loads, okay, I will click on scan. And the first and foremost thing I have to click on generate maze. So I'll pick up this option. Okay. Now if I hover over this, everything is coming as one section. So I'll just select this. Okay. And now what I'll do is since if I try to select anything inside this, I'm not able to. So what I'll do is I will basically click on this and expand the filter one by one. So if I increase by one nothing if I increase by 2 nothing if I increase by 3 I am able to see all the different elements inside this so basically those are the checkpoints so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so here it starts from 0 so we got in total of 10 checkpoints so I'll just quickly select all of these and uh, then we'll take a look at the properties and all those things to understand it better Let me capture this last one. Okay. Now I'll uh, decrease the filter and we will take a look at this. So let me maximize this. So this we are good because it is unique and it is taking button and generate. If I take a look at the checkpoints, so this is the parent element and it is taking checkpoints and tag as div. If I go to checkpoint zero, it is basically having checkpoint zero similar way, other, and all of these things are unique. So what I'll do is I'll save this or maybe I'll just rename this to empty and I will save this okay and then I'll close this and I will move this to my test cases section okay and here maybe I'll write it as empty empty obstacle okay now the first step what I need to do is I need to click on generate maze okay so I can pass a click operation here okay now I need to click on these checkpoints right now if you click on generate maze basically the structure of this is changing okay so a better way to confirm if your script is going to work every time you can rescan this and see if any changes are happening in these elements or not okay I have already validated that so it is basically even if the structure is changing it is creating the same checkpoints with the same properties so we are good but just if you come across these type of scenarios you should do that to make sure your script works every time okay now what I'll do is I have to just keep on clicking on all of these points to navigate right from the start till the end okay now I'll click on input I'll select input and I'll pass a X here okay same thing I'll keep repeating for all the elements so in case you want to forward you can do that now only one important thing to note here is if you pass a click command in this somehow this obstacle is designed in a way that it is not working so basically the navigation what they are trying to say is not working with click at least for me so uh, so whenever you run into these type of problems there are two ways to click on an element 
one is using the click method which is provided by Tosca and another is X so X basically sends a keyboard command and it is always preferred over uh, the click command uh, that's what even Tosca recommends because it basically takes the properties and it performs the keyboard click command in that okay now we do use click command as well and even I use in my tutorials just so that the navigation is displayed and uh, in some of the cases you might have to use it as well okay so I'll just change this to input so based on that you can try it out with click as well but it was not working for me so in those cases you can always use this so we are just clicking on generate maze and then we are passing a x now let me just run this and see if this is working fine or not now this problem statement has not been uh, stated very clearly is what I feel but that's what it means you have to basically click on all the checkpoints and it will keep turning green and if you click all of those correctly then it is going to solve your problem so as you can see it has clicked on all of these and my automation problem is solved now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, export this particular uh, uh, solution and I'm going to put it in a link where if you need you can download it as well just to take a look in case you need okay uh, thank you very much have a great day bye bye do like share and subscribe